Hi, my friends call me Lime, and this is what you have to say about expectations. Abandoned New Zealand. Why did you abandon New Zealand? It says that I always make easy goals. I know I can reach, so no one gets disappointed. Now, setting obtainable goals is one thing, but making things easy for yourself is another, and that might be a problem because the more you challenge yourself, the faster you grow. And safe content might not be as entertaining as it could be. So I guess balance here is the key. This kind of reminds me about people telling me never to get my hopes up because I might get disappointed. I kind of refuse to harden my heart to never experience one of the greatest feelings that life has to offer a hope just because I'm afraid of getting disappointed. Taurus. Taurus says, and I totally agree with Lime's points. You must not always set high expectations because you might not achieve what you wanted and feel bad for it. So you must think realistically and always keep trying for an improvement. Yes, exactly. Setting realistic goals is the key. You keep improving at the same time as you reach the expectations of your audience. Dr. Dunk says, just make the best quality video you can in a certain time. Yes, you should always try your best. I mean, of course you should. Uh, however, the point I was trying to make is that there are situations where doing your best in any given situation risks creating too much contrast in quality between the different contents of your channel. And it's that contrast that makes your audience expect things that you then don't deliver. And that's when you shoot yourself in the foot. Reception says, Hey guys, I need some help with a logo and banner. My current one doesn't feel as professional as some others I see. Don't do professional banners because everybody else is doing them. Do professional banners because you offer professional videos. Otherwise, you're setting the wrong expectations. I am though totally open to discussing how much banners actually contribute to setting expectations. I mean, maybe viewers today are just used to banners not reflecting the quality of the videos, but I still stand by that consistency is the better option of the two. And I mean, not professional doesn't have to be equal to ugly. Some things can be very beautiful and feel homemade at the same time. So don't worry about professional, worry about reflecting the content of your videos. So I hope that cleared things up. And in case you're covering my face right now with all this stuff, I'm gonna do this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.